Hi everyone, today we present you with our weekly insight on tagging elegance, how to tag via type mark in Revit. Capricot Technology Private Limited is now a part of Arkins Group, serving widely in adoption of computer-aided design solutions and its integrated workflows. Myself, Anurag Pamnani, the solution specialist for architecture at Capricot Technologies. In this insight, we will be covering first how to tag elements by category type, secondly, swiftly editing the family type and then inserting a type mark parameter to it. Then thirdly, we would be looking at how to modify the type mark as required for the design drawings. Let us just move on to the live demo now. So here I am onto my user interface screen and in the previous part, we have already seen that uh, we were tagging down the door using the mark type, which was a manual method. Now we will try to have it automatically by using the type mark properties. So very similar to that, we have to go on to the annotate tab and uh, we are trying to catch up the door types. So tag by category using. So tag all we have to do the door tags basically and we will say apply and okay so here the door tagging has already been done so there is no mark right now over here so what we need to do is we have to go on to the family type moving on to the family type you can see by clicking here we can edit the label and over here we have a fire rating labels to it so we have to remove this and we have to add the type mark properties to it. So you have replaced it by type mark and say okay. So load it into the project and close. Overwrite the existing version. Now you can see the dough with similar type comes with uh, a similar mark and See, this becomes, these are of same type of doors. This is door single panel. This is also single panel. Similarly, this, so a common type mark has been generated over there, right? So what we have to do just is like, we have to go on to the type properties, type mark properties, and we have to change them. Like this is the zero one. And here the mark is, we have to, Go on to the edit type and there would be a type mark generated of on door so we can say this is d1 say apply and okay so this becomes d1 and this is d3 automatically uh, say i want this as d2 basically so just select down the door and go on to edit properties now a type mark property has been generated over here and I will say this becomes my door number two select the door added the properties again this becomes my d3 or d4 I can say here okay and then okay this is d4 this is D3, this is D1. So in this way, we have to work in accordance for making our work more easier and liable as well. So this is how we replace the mark with the type mark properties. And then uh, we don't have to select the doors which are, are visible in the views or instance, and we can generally tag down the door using a type, type mark property. Hope you guys had an insightful session. We shall be presenting with other insights on upcoming videos. Do subscribe to our channel for all the updates. Do reach out to us for any query or suggestion. See you in the next week. Thanks and take care.